Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I hope you do stop by often whenever I upload a video. If you would like to support this channel, do so by smashing the like button and subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate the support. Now, let's talk about this messy election. So Beyonce, the queen witch, is planning to endorse Kamala Harris. Are we surprised? No, of course not. You see, Beyonce has already given Kamala permission to use her songs in her presidential election campaign. But she is set to go for further by donating to and endorsing Kamala because she believes the stakes are too high to remain silent. <laughs> Beyonce has cleared her schedule, you guys, to attend Kamala Harris fundraiser. The source said Beyonce had deliberately taken a step back from politics. But Beyonce decided to step back in after people close to her showed her Project 25. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Jeez, it's just dramatic. <laughs> The source added that Beyonce and Harris first met when Obama was campaigning in 2008, but became close friends during the Joe Biden election. However, the pair have never been publicly seen together to date. In 2020, Beyonce made a smaller show of support for Biden and Harris a day before the presidential election as she rocked a Biden-Harris face mask in an Instagram post. <laughs> now, Beyonce is ready to officially add her star power to Kamala's ongoing campaign, which began after Biden dropped out of the race for the White House on July 19th. Beyonce feels the stakes are too high and believe in Kamala's vision for America adding that the singer is even set to donate funds towards the campaign. Beyonce has set aside $4 million to donate to the campaign with plans to donate more if she sees the need to. Oh my goodness. Oh, and Beyonce has already shown her support for Kamala by authorizing the vice president to use her song Freedom as the anthem for her campaign trail. Over the years, Kamala has been open about being a fan of Beyonce and even accepted two tickets to enjoy the singer's renaissance concert last year. She marked the occasion with an Instagram that read, To the one of one, the number one, the only one, Beyonce. In what world is this okay? You have politicians, vice president, worshipping, praising entertainers. A lot of you guys have no idea what is going on, but you will pretty soon. So you mean to tell me there are people out there who cares what Beyonce have to say about anything outside of entertainment? Entertainers are the last people I would turn to for any political advice, okay? It is irrelevant to think about a celebrity endorsement as a reason to elect someone. Stick with the facts and policies that work. That's it. Don't vote based on gender. Don't vote based on race. It's irrelevant. Just vote wisely if you're going to. I try not to talk about politics, but this election is a joke. My gosh, this can't be life. This can't be life. They think people are stupid. They're trying to get entertainers to get you to vote for them. Freaking YouTubers. It's just, what is going on? It's a scripted movie. Get your popcorn and sit back and just enjoy the ish show. Because this, listen, no matter who wins, get ready. Okay? No matter who wins, get ready. As I always say, do not put your faith in men. Men will fail you, but God will never fail you, okay? So turn away from sin, repent, and God will take care of you, okay? Thank you, you guys, for tuning in. Please like, please subscribe. I appreciate the support, and I'll see you on the next one, okay? Okay, okay, okay? <laughs> Peace.